Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Positive Squad. You have your host Abam Frank aka Mr. Positive and in today's video I'm very much excited because I'll be walking you through the process of filling in your information for the Diversity Visa Lottery 2021. Today is October 2nd, 2019 and the DV American Lottery portal was being opened today. So uh, the very first thing, open up your web browser, go into your search bar and you type dvlottery.state.gov. When once you type that, you see the official website is going to open up. Scroll down to where you have begin entry. Click on it. When once it opens up, you put in this capture code. You know, it's totally different for different entries. So, well, this one doesn't really look the best. You just have to refresh it here when once you are not seeing your capture code very well just click on this refresh button okay the form actually opens we have the part one entrance information here you fill in your last name here you fill in your first name and then here you fill in your middle name you go down to where you have gender. If you are male, you select male. If you are female, you select female. We go down to where we have birth date. You see, in the US, they actually start with the month. They go to the day before they go to the year. Meanwhile, in different countries, it is slightly different. So, take caution. If your country is the case that you always write your date starting with the day before the month, before the year, know that here it is different take note start with the month you input the month when you were born if it is november you input 11. go to the day if it is 16th just like here in this case you input that and then the year you input it okay the fourth entry is city where you were born enter birth city only do not enter district county province state do not enter district country province or state you know uh, this is actually something that is always confusing put what you have on your passport as your birthplace even if it's a local village somewhere or something of that nature put it now we go to this next one country where you were born you click on this drop down and then you select your country once that is done we now have country of eligibility for the DV program. Your country of eligibility will normally be the same as your country of birth. Your country of eligibility is not related to where you live. If you were born in a country that is not eligible for the DV program, please go to the explanation of country of eligibility. Here is the link to see if there is another option available in your case. But then, if your country is eligible and you are claiming eligibility for that country, then leave it on yes. Let's take for example, you are in a country that is non-eligible like let's say India, and then you are claiming eligibility from another country. Then now you need to click no, and then you select the country that you are claiming eligibility from. Okay, here we have the section for your passport. This section was being implemented this year, you know. We actually have the A part and then we have the B and the R part. The A part is for those who have their passports. The B part now stands for people that, okay, let's read. They are like, I am not required to submit passport information because I am stateless, no nationality. If your case is this, then you click on this. The second one, they are like, a national of a communist controlled country a national of a communist controlled country and unable to obtain a passport from my government if your case is this you actually choose this option and finally unable to obtain a passport and have received an individual waiver of the passport requirement by the secretary of homeland security or secretary of state if your case is this as well then just click on this check mark but then if you have your passport then just fill in the information the name the, just fill in the information, the last name, the first name, the middle name, the passport number, expiration date, country of issuance, and you are good to go. On the eighth point now, this is where you need to upload your photo. You know, 
before you apply for the dv american lottery just like i have been saying in other videos you need to prepare your photo in this case i actually prepared a photo it's on my desktop and here we have it when once you click on the photo it loads up all right now we go to the ninth point mailing address this is actually a situation whereby let's take for example here i'm applying for my cousin and they are like in care of i'm going to input my name here if you're applying for yourself you you should input your name and then secondly you input your address line in my case i'll go in with p.o box one bamenda you know address line two this is optional district county province or state in my case i'm going to actually put in my region we have the postal or zip code in my case, um, I'm going to input 237. This is the postal code for my country. And then finally, you select your country too in your case after inputting your postal code. Country where you live today. Let's take for example, I'm a Cameroonian. I'm applying for somebody who is a Cameroonian. If should in case the person was not living in Cameroon, I'm going to choose another country. But now the person as well is living in Cameroon. So I'm going to choose Cameroon. So in your case, you actually input the country where you are living. Phone number, this is totally optional. Then now email address, you need to put in your email address here. This is not optional, this is compulsory. Input your email address and input it again in order to confirm. Okay, here they say what is the highest level of education you have achieved as of today. If you have been just to the primary school, you select this. High school no degree, you select this. High school degree or advanced level certificate, you select this. Vocational, vocational school, you select this. Some university courses, that is you've been to the university but you don't yet have a bachelor degree, you select this. But then if you have a degree already, you select this. Then now if you have done some master's study but then you don't yet have a degree, you go for this. If you have a master's degree, you go for this. Then now some doctorate level courses, that is you've actually done some doctorate level courses but you don't yet have a degree, you select this. And finally, if you have a doctorate degree, you select this okay marital status if you are unmarried you check on married but if you are married and your spouse is not a u.s citizen or u.s lawful permanent resident check this this is very important take note married and my spouse is a u.s citizen or u.s lawful permanent resident check this if you are divorced click here if you are widowed you know take this one and if you are legally separated take this one and then you enter your spouse information through this link finally here we have number of children if you have some number of children let's take for example when you are applying for the diversity visa lottery program you need to input your biological children if you have 10 of them indicate that you have 10 if you have adopted children that are added to your biological children indicate as well that you have let's take for example you have 10 biological children and five adopted children indicate that you have 15 children and then click on continue and input their own information this page is actually going to come up if you need to go back and make a correction do not use the back button on your browser instead use the appropriate button but Instead, use the appropriate button here or below. This is the button they are talking about. Avoid using this button to go back. If you want to go back and do corrections, use this button to go back. So, let me actually change this. Let me change this to illustrate the situation whereby you are applying when you are married. When you select married here, and then let's say you select that you have uh, one child. Click on continue. You see now that you have part two derivatives. Spouse's name. You input your spouse's last name, first name, middle name. You go down now and you input your spouse's date of birth, starting with the month and then the day and then finally the year. Then now you go down here and you choose the gender of your spouse. 
city where spouse was born you input that and then country where spouse was born you input that then now you come here and you select the spouse's photograph okay let me actually point this out clearly if you are married you have a passport but your wife doesn't have a passport you can apply indicating that you are married it will go even if your wife doesn't have a passport because before doing this tutorial I was asked so many questions in the comment section like what if I have a passport but my wife doesn't have a passport what if I have a passport but my husband doesn't have a passport so here I'm clearing that out if A has a passport and B does not have a passport A can apply indicating that they are married to B and B will not need a passport and vice versa even when you are applying for the child the child would not need a passport all you will need from the child is the date of birth the gender the names and then now the city where the child was born the country where the child was born and the child's photograph so that's basically it so um, I actually came over into this page in order to illustrate these two examples when you are applying and you are married and you have either a kid or you have children follow the steps I just illustrated and you input your information so now I'm going to go back to part one Remember, you have to use those buttons. Don't use these arrow keys to go back. So here, um, since this individual I'm applying for isn't yet married, I'm going to take on married. And then I'm going to as well come here and put zero. Once everything is set, I just go now and I click on continue. Okay, this page now shows up. You just need to go over and confirm that everything is okay. When once you are satisfied that all the information you are given is okay, go ahead and click on submit. Okay, here we have the confirmation page. DV 2021 submission confirmation. Entry received. If you lose this information, you will not be able to check if you have been selected or not on the 5th of May. If you have a printer, go ahead and print this. But in my case, I don't have a printer. I just need to copy the information, highlight it, and then copy it. I go now into Microsoft Word. I really recommend you do this if you don't have a printer connected to your computer. When you go into Microsoft Word now, you open a new document, you just press Ctrl V. And it is going to paste your information into Microsoft Word. Now you can save this document. And that's it. With all this done, you have already applied for your Diversity Visa Lottery 2021. Thank you so very much for watching. Give this video a like if it added some value. Don't as well forget to click on that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Thank you. God bless you. Remain positive and see you in the next video.